Yo, what's up everybody? Jumping here and I am back with some Final Fantasy 15. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn the engine blade into the ultimate blade, which I actually have right now and I can show it to you guys. This is a really badass weapon. It has 364 attack and it gives you a plus 40 magic and a plus 30 spirit. This is a really amazing sword that you can get fairly early in the game. Right now, I'm on Chapter 3, and I have to go and talk to this girl named Iris in Lestalem. That's where I'm actually at right now. I'm in this town. It's a really big town, and you have to come here for the main storyline in Chapter 3. But I haven't really been doing any main storyline stuff. I've been focusing on side quests, and I've been able to level up a bunch. And I also got this weapon really early, so I'm really glad about that. Now the first thing you need to do to turn the engine blade into the ultimate blade is get to the point of the game where you can actually upgrade weapons. Then you need to find a rusted bit for the engine blade. Luckily, you can actually find a rusted bit right there at Hammerhead Garage where Sid is. All you gotta do is just go a little bit to the right of Sid and there's gonna be some rocks and you can find one right there. I made a video about this if you guys wanna go check that out if you're a little confused. Now the second item you need is a glass gemstone. Now I found this in another location. It was in a town on the ground somewhere. There's actually a whole bunch of them you can find scattered around the world. But the easiest one in my opinion is actually gonna come from this town, Lestalem, right here. And it's gonna be on a table. Now that is where I need to go and talk to this girl Iris. But there's gonna be a blue building right here. And on my map, you can actually see the little outpost sign. I'm like standing really close to it right now. And yeah, just look for the blue building over here. There's going to be a guy selling some food in front of it. And if you run over here on the table, you will find a glass gemstone. Now the next item that we're going to need to get once you actually turn this in, you upgrade the engine blade. The final item is going to come from a town called Old Lestalem. And it's going to be located right here on the map. So this is going to be a little bit south of Lestalem. And it's called Old Lestalem. But once you actually get here, we need to get a bounty. So I'm going to cut this ahead and I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty guys, well I'm in Old Lestalem right now. And the item that we're going to be looking for here is going to be a sturdy helix horn. This is going to be the final item that you need to upgrade the engine blade into the ultimate blade. Now once you're here, you need to go ahead and go into the diner and get this bounty, the last Sepricorns. It's a level 29 bounty, but don't worry too much about the level because... All you have to do is chop off the horn of this big giraffe-like monster. The thing is, there's going to be some RNG bullshit that will play into this. So, hopefully you can get lucky and get it right away. It didn't take me that long once I actually figured out an easier way to farm it. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to where we have to go, which is not that far from this town, and we're going to be fighting these monsters. Now, I have a save where I was pretty much ready to go to farm it, and I'll tell you guys what you need to do to make this a lot easier on you. Otherwise, this could take hours. It just depends on RNG. So, I'm going to cut this ahead, and I will see you guys in a moment. Alrighty, well I just loaded up my save, and now what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and challenge these monsters, and then kill the Sepricorns. The Duplicorns are the bigger monsters, and they're going to be the ones that can drop the sturdy Helix Horn. The Sepricorns will drop a different Helix Horn, and you don't really want it, so go ahead and kill them so that they are gone, and then run away. Run all the way out of the yellow area. Once you are out, you can make a save, and this is going to make it a lot easier to farm because you just save the game, and then what we're going to go do is we're going to go in, fight these things, chop off their horns, hope that RNGesus will give us a sturdy helix horn, and if he doesn't, we just reload the save and try again. And just keep doing that until eventually you will actually get a sturdy helix horn. You might think that, what the fuck, do they drop it, do they not drop it? It can take a while, it took me about an hour honestly to get it. But that was it. It wasn't too bad. I mean, in some of the Final Fantasy games, it could take you fucking like a year to get something. It's so ridiculous. So this is not that bad in comparison. But right there, I just chopped off the horn and I didn't get shit. Now, once you are out of uh, magic or MP, go ahead and just rest and try again. And then basically just keep doing this. All you got to do is just lock onto the horn. Once you're locked on, just keep warp striking it until it eventually will break off. And it can actually take a lot. Okay, right there. I don't know if I broke it. I did not break it right there. Let me go ahead and rest real quick. Sometimes it will say break, which is a little confusing, but it doesn't actually break. I don't know why. Okay, let's get him. Come on, break that shit off. 
Okay, there we go. It broke, I think. Yeah, it broke. But I didn't get shit. You can actually tell because the horns are gone and you can no longer lock onto the horns. So then you know that you have pretty much not got it. So just run out of the area again, get out of the red, and then you can reload your save. If you're in the red, you can't actually load your save. But yeah, there you go. You just load it back up and try again over and over again until eventually you will actually get the sturdy helix horn. Alrighty guys, well I think you get the idea on what you want to do here. You just want to farm the fuck out of it until eventually you will get a sturdy helix horn. Once you get that, then you need to go back to Sid and give it to him. And what you have to do is you have to do either three bounties or you have to do three quests. And then he will actually give you the weapon. And the weapon is totally worth it. The fact that you can get this early in the game is awesome. Remember, the level doesn't matter all that much. Even if you're like level 18 or something, I would say you should have no problem doing this the sepracorns are not that difficult to kill and the duplicorns you don't even have to kill them you just gotta chop off their horns so remember guys that's pretty much it i mean it's not that difficult Alrighty, well i really hope this has helped if it has will you please like the video for me be sure to subscribe for future videos and i really do hope that everyone has a very nice day and peace so